Breaking news to bring you Alejandro Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho. Heard of him? You probably have. He's been on the front cover when it comes to Manchester United for months now, starting nearly every single game for the club at the age of 19 years old. There's been a lot of claims of how his future will be, but one of them really stands out for me, and it's this. Alejandro Garnacho has the potential to be as good as Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, credit where due, this quote has been used by delusional Man United fans, including myself. But it got me wondering, can he actually? But to answer that question, we have to go all the way back to October 2020. Granacho was thriving at Atletico Madrid's academy ever since a young age. And when United saw this, they decided to buy him for only £420,000. And he signed his first professional contract at the club in July 2021. He continued to train with the Manchester United Academy. But it wasn't until February 2022 that he scored his first ever goal against Everton in the Youth FA Cup. This goal in itself put Granacho under some spotlight as it went on to be nominated for goal of the month. After this brilliant goal, his run of form continued and he was now the youth team's main player. After this, Ragnick decided to try his luck by giving Alejandro a chance in the team. He spent the first few games sitting on the bench until the 28th of April 2022. Granacho came on for Alanga in the 91st minute against Chelsea. Despite only playing for a couple of minutes, he got a taste of what it's like to play for the senior team. After this, he bounced back and forth between the youth team and the senior team. And despite thriving in the youth team, he failed to get many minutes in the senior team. But this was until one-off if not the best game Granacho had in his youth career. It was the youth FA Cup final and United went up against Nottingham Forest in an attempt to win the trophy for the first time in 11 years. Granacho emerged as the star player during the game, scoring two goals to give United their first youth FA Cup in over a decade. At the end of the season, he won the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year award. This is a prestigious award given to the best youth players that season. This award has been given to the likes of Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, Marcus Rashford, and now Alejandro Granacho. Things were starting to look up for him and all he needed now was to be given a chance. On the 27th of October 2022, Granacho was on the team sheet against Moldovan team Sheriff in the Europa League, making it his first ever start in the senior team. He had to make a good first impression, and it's safe to say he did that pretty well. Ten Hag praised his performance and he got the green light to start in even more United games. He started again in the very next Europa League game against Real Sociedad alongside Bruno Fernandes and his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo. And sure enough, in the 17th minute, a miracle happened. Ronaldo passes to Granacho. He manages to score his first ever senior career goal, assisted by the man he's looked up to his entire life. It was an absolute best start to his career, and it really looked like the only way was up. Over his next games, he managed to grab two assists against Villa and a last-minute winner against Fulham. For the remainder of the season, Ten Hag used him as a sub to bring on lots of energy in the final few minutes. And that is one of the many talents Granacho has. You can see throughout the season when he came on the pitch, he could easily run past tired fullbacks, completely changing the team. This worked well as he ended the 22-23 season with an impressive six goals and six assists in all competitions. The foundations were now all laid out. He played regularly. He showed what he was worth and he helped the team. All he needed to do was go into the next season and capitalise on these successes. Granacho began the 23-24 season in the starting lineup against both Wolves and Spurs. And despite not contributing, he played well in both games. He also started against Arsenal at the Emirates and he even managed to score the winner. Or so he thought. Apparently... According to VAR, it was ruled offside, even though anyone can clearly see he's a mile off. This dodgy decision led the team to lose 3-1 to Arsenal. Granacho managed to pick up his first goal in the Carabao Cup in a 3-0 win to Palace. However, he went months without scoring in the Prem. But this drought came to an end as he scored against Everton in what could only be described a Puskas worthy goal. Pulls the ball back across. Got no
It carried their run of form into the new year and after bagging a brace to help United beat Villa 3-2, that's where we're at today. So the question now stands, can Garnacho be as good as Ronaldo one day? I took it to the community poll and after a few days, 80% of you said no. However, when I asked if he'd become world class one day, 74% of you said yes. After gathering all this information, the general view is, well, yes, the kid has lots of potential. And yes, chances are he'll turn into a world-class player. But it's near impossible to surpass Ronaldo's legacy. To which, yes, I do agree to a certain extent. But personally, I think he will. Let me explain. To figure this out, we obviously have to look at the elephant in the room. Well, actually, two elephants in the room. First one being... Yes, I'm delusional. The second is the man absolutely idolizes Ronaldo throughout everything he does. And you can actually see this in his performance. The way he scales with the ball, the way he can dart up the pitch in a matter of seconds, the way he can cut inside, get into the box quickly and efficiently. The style of play seriously reminds me of like a 2005, 2006 Ronaldo. The talent is there, the skill is there, but something was missing. And I've managed to narrow it down to three different things. The first is to do with the actual team. You see, Ronaldo played in a team with actually good players. I mean, they had Van der Sar, we have Onana. They got Ryan Giggs, we got Rashford. Personally, in my opinion, Granacho was overshadowed in this team of... What's the right word? Idiots. But I'm not going to talk much about that, as that can turn this video from a short video into a four hour movie. The second point I want to go over is time. You see, when you think of Ronaldo's prime time at United, you probably think of 2008. But here's the thing, in 2008, the man was 23. Granacho was still only 19 years old. He has time to prove himself. If we compare him to Ronaldo when he was 19, you can see both their skills are scarily similar. Give Granacho time and I promise you, he will shock you. And the third and final thing is what I like to call Manchester United, being Manchester United. Let me ask you a question. After Sir Alex left the club, how many players actually succeeded at the club? Put your answers down below and I bet you any money you couldn't name any more than five. And the issue is, there isn't really a reason why. I think the more realistic answer here is quite simply the Glazers. They've tormented the club for over a decade, now leaving the club to crumble as they slide all the money into their back pocket. In recent times, there has been academy talents that haven't been able to succeed at the club. Players like Alanga, Shortar, Angel Gomez, Andres Piera, the list goes on. What are your thoughts? Do you think Garnacho will be as good as Ronaldo? Leave your thoughts down below. And while you're there, why not check out my brand new free football newsletter? The first 15 people that sign up will get a free shout out in the next video. So make sure you sign up quick and check out this video here where I show you the entire history of Manchester United. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See ya.